So let's get your reaction to top Biden spokesman John Kirby says he agrees warnings about terror attacks inside the U.S. are on the mm. rise, yep. but he won't say if Biden will call a national terror emergency. Why? You know, I, we have been getting intel reports on this for quite some time. We've seen the rise on it. I mean, come on, you can't it can't be sustainable during Trump's four years in office. There was only 14 uh, uh, known terrorists apprehended on the southern border. We're at 367 <laughs> That have been that were known terrorists, not to mention how many hundreds of nope. associates, meaning individuals that were associated to the terrorists that have been apprehended. By the main, by the way, apprehended and a lot of them had been released. We saw this with those eight from the Chikistan. That and and I, why point. he's not saying what we all know. It's not a matter of if; it's a matter of when. Because mm. of the porous border that is going on, the illegals that are crossing this that have terrorist uh, ties. Uh, it's just mm -hmm. a matter of when they strike in our city. And if he was really being serious about trying to protect America. But you got to love ass. Okay. He would absolutely secure the border and then he would absolutely put all his resources with our alphabet communities to go after these terrorists that they release into the yep. country. Senator, let's get your reaction. Yep. It, to John it would Kirby. make sense. You'll also hear from House Intelligence Ranking Member Representative Jim Hines of Connecticut downplay. But this is for fair use as well, because Fox News and the boys be trying to copyright or strike motherfuckers. This is fair use. If they have, if our government overall was really serious, they would have made a national emergency media shut down our borders from the southern border to the north shut down our borders and start to recalculate and re-report who needed to be you ain't got to deport all everybody but criminals anybody you know they got any little ties to should be start a oh, criminal record like that they should be getting deported by the hundreds why are they not going to because they don't want to because they need a false flag event to happen and the next flaws flap a bit that could and may happen sooner than later could be worse, if not close to what happened on 9 11. They need a bit to happen inside of United States to get people to rally and want to attack or whatever the case may be. I, I, I'm hoping I'm wrong, but I will not be surprised if something like that goes down. Like that. So, we will see we will know and everything like that so hopefully i'm wrong but don't be surprised you will play terror threats inside the u.s watch this terrorism warning lights are blinking red again do you agree with that assessment uh, certainly we would absolutely uh <laughs> say unequivocally that we've got to keep our eye on a terrorist threat that thousands of people are crossing the border unknown each week and that he says that the united states should consider using national emergency authorities. Is that something the administration is considering? Is he wrong there? I don't have anything in terms of decision making on what those, I'm not even sure I completely understand what he means by all those authorities. Those eight Tajik nationals with ISIS ties suspected were arrested in multiple U.S. cities. They all had come in over the U.S. southern border. The former CIA director, Leon Panetta, told us that this is a 9-11 wake-up call. Is that how you see it from your briefings or no? Well, it's certainly true. I mean, people are using a lot of bombastic language, and there's a lot of hyperbolic language out there. As it turns out, we arrested those Tajiks with ties to ISIS, uh, and, you know, we have not had a major terrorist attack in this country in a very, very long time. Um, so that doesn't mean that we let our guards down. Of course not. It's a danger that my Republican friends like to play up, even though in 30 years there has not been a single terrorist fatality engineered by an undocumented alien. So if it's connected into the border, they're just going to ignore it. Check what he said. 19 hijackers in 9-11 were on visas, mm -hmm. but there were 48 terrorists mm -hmm. connected to 9-11. A quarter of those were illegal aliens. So just mm -hmm. ignore FBI Director Ray, right who testified multiple times that foreign terror threats are at a whole other level, citing the border crisis. Just ignore House Intelligence Chair Mike Turner saying mm -hmm. we're at the highest level of level threats ever for a possible ever? terror attack. What is going on with this Democrat congressman? See, it's, it's, well, it's, it's, first of all, the Democrat congressman is carrying the water for the Democrats. They understand that they're going to own this if it comes out and actually happens under their watch. And by the way, they'll be the first one to blame Republicans if it happens yep. underneath President Trump's watch oh. when he becomes president next year. 100%. The unfortunate part is, is they created this danger and they know darn good and well because they read this. 100%. God bid. 
these people when Trump, because we know Trump will get in. If we do have an election, no no foolishness or no attacks or no war, God forbid, with Trump get in, they'll they're hundred percent blaming for attacking America, or we going uh, um, economic collapse, or World War Three start off. They'll be happy. See, I thought Trump was the one that's supposed to close the border and deport everybody. We had a terrorist attack under his watch. Oh, he's supposed to stop the war in Ukraine and stop these wars overseas. He started World War Three. Like I said, the flawed flags either going to start before the election or they'll definitely wait. Might I, I might might be on to something. They'll st- they'll wait till after the election. They know they will lose. Joe Biden or if they get out place Joe Biden, they know they want to lose. So wait for the for flaws to flag attacks to happen once Joe, once President Trump get back into the office. So now they can have that the Democrats can get blamed to the turn attorney of time. See, see, we told you about Trump. He's gonna start World War III. He did. He wasn't, he, he's not gonna do what he said. The tax happened under Trump and not Biden. Oh. He's not the savior you thought he was. Yes, watch what I said. The, if the tax don't happen before the election, wait till after. Wait till he gets sworn in. Wait a couple months after. Oh, it will come. Same intel reports that we do, that we are literally what Mike Turner said. We're literally at the highest level we have ever seen since we've been tracking terrorist activities inside the United States. And they have been coming by droves over our southern yeah. border. It's because of President Biden's um, uh, policies mm-hmm. on the southern border that's put us in this situation. You know, Senator, you, you, it's, you raise an important point there. I mean, we saw 1,664 terrorists with, uh, excuse me, illegal aliens with links to terrorism, including those on the watch list, caught at all ports of entry, and in right. between ports of entry. It's a disturbing number. Senator Mark Very Wayne much. Mullen, thank you for joining us. Steve? And like I said, man, this is, like I said, just a matter of time. You get thousands, millions, mostly military-ready men from all over the world, Russia, China, Iran, Israel, all over um, Africa and stuff like that. Like I said, from all over the world, we know Central, South America, America and stuff ain't no better as well. But at the same time, what are we supposed to do? And stuff like this. These, you know, they all legal. They all in here for no better than their future. When we know a lot of them are tied to terrorists or countries that don't give a damn about America. What? And I keep saying, we the people should demand them our borders closed and these people get deported. But he's trying to get Joe Biden trying to get embassy for most of these people. Most of them that have been in the country for 10 years, married to, man, no, no. Separate, the, uh, they don't want to break out of home, no. Break up the family. They broke the rules by coming here illegally. I don't care if they've been here for one day or a thousand days. Take, send their ass back to their country. You broke the law. You go back home, your home country, and you can't apply for any green card status or anything in America for up to 10 years. I bet you this shit will stop. I don't care if you've been in the country for 10 years, you don't got married, you don't did, 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 you still legal. You go back home to your country. Now, if your wife, your American wife want to go back, that's the way. Go, hey, we got to break up the home. The family, wife, y'all can go with this mother sucker back to his home country. You can't apply for any citizenship or anything legal status for 10 years because he broke the laws. I bet you the shit will stop. People that really want to be in the country, I bet you they'll think twice about breaking the rules. Yes, our, Im- our immigration status, it might not be the best, but so what? You apply, until you, and when you get heard to come in or get the status, until then you wait. Simple as that. We got to vet everybody come here. You're not special for anybody else comes in here. Simple as that.